Hi, I'm Ben, host of the Freebirds channel. I've got two quick things before we get this factory tour started. Thing number one, this video isn't sponsored by Forest River in any way, shape, or form. When I first heard about the Rockwood GeoPro and the Flagstaff ePro, I was really intrigued because I found out that they're putting a lot of really quality things into these trailers and a lot of innovative things too that either a weekend or even a full timer would normally put in themselves. So I was really excited about this real little trailer, but I wanted to find out, hey, is this all just sales pitch or is this real? So I wanted to see it for myself. So I did so completely on my dime. And then also I wanted to share it with you guys too. So uh, thing number two, the factory environment is really hard to get good clean audio. Yeah, I could turn it up, but then you're gonna get blasted out by the, uh, by the noise as well. I wanted you to be able to catch everything that Anthony the tour guide is saying, because I feel like it's a, an important part of the tour. So what I'm actually gonna do is turn the audio volumes way down and just caption everything so that you won't miss a thing. Well, that's all I got. Let's get this party started.
essentially what that's going to do is protect that wool insulation from getting saturated, soaking up moisture and humidity. Uh, you also notice that we do wrap it around the edges here, so everything's protected all the way around. On the Geo Pros and E Pros, we then put on top a, a structure wood, one piece structure wood floor. Um, this isn't going to be just a traditional OSB. Uh, this is something that it's a warehouse or structure wood. Um, they're really going to stand by it. They know it's going to last for the length that you own the trailer and the next two or three owners after that, too. So having one piece in there, it's extremely important. That is not only glued down to your cross members and everything, uh, we screw it down about every 12 to 14 inches as well. Um, so it is a screwed and glued floor uh, that goes on there. Once that's all finished up, then you're seeing it lifted up on top here, both to the outer of your frame.
somebody that sat down on a wood frame dinette and broke it. This isn't going to break. Now, I mean, it could break. You got to be really, really mean to it. And it's going to last longer for you, and it's going to hold up a lot better. Welds here on each side. You know, not just a tack weld there, a tack weld there, double welds each side on your aluminum. Um, yeah, all your styles are going to be uh, uh, pre-drilled with a Craig jig and then pocket screwed. So um, that's something where some manufacturers are are just going, you know, styles and doing a corrugated fastener, essentially an oversized staple. It works for a couple trips, but over the long run, it's going to have issues pulling apart and getting gap in there. So that's again, it's one of those small details that you don't see. You literally got to open up the cabinet door, look inside, and touch around and feel. And then you'll find the difference. So what we're seeing at this point, getting the sidewalls installed. Uh, all of our sidewalls that, that we install are all built in our own very own lamination facility. Uh, we're one of the very few that does our own lamination for everything that we build. A lot of other manufacturers kind of share a building where they're making, you know, for six, seven different brands. We're only making sidewalls, roofs, etc. for Rockland and Flagstaff, and really they're the exact same thing between a Rockland and Flagstaff. So what you're seeing with your wall, frame, your one inch aluminum frame, uh, one inch compressed block foam insulation here, and you're fully vacuum bond laminated together. A lot of manufacturers are going to just settle for the pinch roll. Run a deep loop, uh, you pinch roll it, and then round the pound of pressure for a square foot for one second at a time. It works, it gets the job done. Now we're going to take it a step further and do a full vacuum bond. So we're actually going to do a deep loop, sandwich everything together, and then put it in the vacuum press.
never check your seals, you might have issues with your trailer. Just like you never change the oil in your car, you probably have issues with your car. So we yeah. hope you change the oil in your car and we hope you check your rules. So. Do you know, is there a specification of like one person up there is safe? Or? So it's 300 pounds capacity. Well, I hope you're finding the tour interesting and informative so far. I went into this tour with the expectation that I was going to be seeing a stepped up level of quality. But you know what? To be honest, I've been amazed. Uh, it, they're, they're delivering way more than they're promising, in my opinion. And you want to stay tuned till the very end of the video because their quality control department does something on the very last step that absolutely just blew my mind. So. Uh, speaking of staying tuned till the end, if you'd like to give back and help others find this video, one of the main things that YouTube looks at to see if a video is a quality or not and whether or not they're going to recommend it to other viewers is, did you watch the video through to the till the end? So if you could do that, if you could let this video play clear till the end, that'll go a long ways towards helping others find it. So with that, let's get back to the tour.
exposure in its simplest form is just going to boost that signal for you. Yeah. Um, the LTE capabilities, uh, we we actually sell. Um, it's an LTE module. Okay. So you got to go in. I think there's four screws on top of that. For the module Wi-Fi ranger. Pop that out. Pop that module in. Go and buy a SIM card from AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, whoever it may be, and you put that SIM card in. Get your data plan, and now you're creating your yeah. own Wi-Fi. Beauty of the Wi-Fi Ranger too, it also provides with a secure network. You can do uh, use the feature, their safe serve feature. Uh, so anytime you're on public Wi-Fi, you're not supposed to check your credit cards, your banking, this and that, because there's really smart computer people out there, much smarter than myself, that can get on and look at stuff. Um, but with that safe serve feature, now you're a secured private network, so that again, those smart people can't hack it. material here again it's extremely puncture and tear resistant it's really going to take a lot of uh, mistakes to do anything to this roof but again 12 year warranty on it a lot easier to take care of clean etc front caps here we don't put that front cap on um, until you get that roof membrane tucked underneath where that front cap goes lay that cap on top fasten that all down again your roof membrane too and you can barely see it we do wrap it around the edges of that it off with your C channel that's screwed in there, and then you see that feed of caulk that runs all along that top line. Feed of it going over top of that, yeah, sealing water out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. My, my favorite thing is seeing a, a fifth wheel from other brands going down the road. They've got their black C channel, and then they've got little white beads of caulking just dropped about every four inches, and you can see it. Where if you look at ours, it's just straight white caulking all the way across because well, you want it sealed. It's all sealed up, and you're not going to have it. So, again, when you apply it that heavy, you're spending more money. And when you apply it like that, you're not spending much money on seal. But we don't care. We'd rather spend the money to make sure that you've got a trailer that's not going to leave you too much. Right. 
trailer where a lot of manufacturers, yeah, they give you a power fan, but I know you guys have seen them. They're about yay big. They have power to them, so it is a power fan, right? Is it doing anything? That makes it a little humming. Some of this, have I got have I convinced you guys to go with the Geo Pro instead of a fish <laughs> we think so the last thing we check for because we want to make sure that it's going to come out to you sealed up ready to go like 
I probably shouldn't have waited till the end of this tour to introduce our tour guide, but this is Anthony Yoder of Forest River. Anthony, man, it's been awesome. Thank you so much for opening your doors to us. It's been so informative. I'm super excited Whoa. about the product you're building, and I'd like anyone also, if you're interested, to be able to come see this for themselves too. Can they do that, and if so, how can they contact you? Absolutely, uh, open to tours most Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If a Tuesday and Thursday works for you, obviously gonna, gonna take care of you on that too. Uh, my email address is am, M for Michael Yoder, at forestriverinc.com. You can send me an email on that. Um, you can also find us on our contact page um, on our, our forestriverinc.com. Um, phone number 574-642-8920. Give me a call, send me an email, set up a tour, and I'll show you what makes Rockwood Flagstaff special um, and why we're best-selling ultralight trailer in the entire industry. So. Great meeting you. Thanks yes. again for your time. Absolutely. And I'll link all that information up in the episode notes, and I'll also pin it in the in the comments in the top. So don't, don't you can send find me spam. There. No spam. <laughs> no spam. Well, that's a wrap on the factory tour. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed taking the tour. And next up, you can click right here to watch the next video where I share my thoughts on these awesome little travel trailers. I share both my pros and my cons based upon my experience of RVing for the last six years, owning two uh, travel trailers myself, camping, weekending, vacationing, even living full time in them. So thanks for watching the factory tour. Click here and I'll see you in the next video.